what we're doing is we're giving two graphs. We find out where they cross. Then we decide, are we top minus bottom, where it's all X's, or are we right minus left, where it's all Y? Right? Everybody agree with that? So, do you have a question? Number two? Yes. It does look weird. But, is it top minus bottom? Okay. Now, since they don't cross, it has given us the lines, the vertical lines that it wants the area between. That's all that is. So negative pi over 3 to pi over 3 of 1 half secant squared t minus negative 4 sine squared t. Yep. Okay. Does that make sense how to set that up? Yes. Okay. I'm not, we're going to stop there. You can come back. You heard me say this. The sign is probably not due until Friday. What's your next question? I want to try to get... So can we, can we plug this in our calculator or do you want us to do it by hand? Okay. So on number seven and eight, it has like different instructions. It says to use your calculator to find the area of the region and close the graph. I was just wondering if there's like a specific way on the calculator that we do it. Uh, no, you have to set up the integral and type in the integral. Okay. That's all. That's so all that. Just normal. Yes. Just normal. Other than it says you don't have to do it by hand. Okay. Like you get the integral from the graph. Yes, ma'am. That's on, what'd you say, seven and eight? Eight. Eight, yeah, okay. Now what? Uh, 14 looks weird. Can you all look at 14? Yeah. Okay, when you look at 14, what happens is you actually have three different integrals. Because we're doing top minus bottom. So I have, my first integral is going to be Negative 2. It, where do they cross? Well, I... Okay. They cross when the two graphs equal each other. When 4 minus x squared equals negative x plus 2. Okay? Does that make sense to you why they would cross there? They cross when the two graphs are equal to each other. Okay, so does 0 equal x squared minus x minus 2? Yes or no? So x minus 2, x plus 1, they cross at 2 and negative 1. Right? Yes. So your first integral is going to be negative 2 to negative 1. Right? What's your sec second integral? And then your third integral is 2 to 3? Does that make sense? I was so confused. Well, they've shaded the blue areas, what you're finding. Does that make sense to you when I set so it up that just, way? Like, if it's weird like that, you just do it by every single integral, uh -huh. even if you have to do like 30 of them. Even if you have to do 30 of them. Okay. Now what? And boy, which, which one is it? The, the top and bottom is uh, y's or x's? Top and bottom is x's. Yes. Okay, number 30. I think I was confused about like the look like on the graph. I want to go to A number 30? Yeah. Um, yeah, so it looks like the graph 
after the graph is Okay, you have that graph, right? And then you have y equals 1 minus x squared. Yes. And what does it look like? Well, it looks like the two graphs are exactly the same from negative 1 to 1. It does? So you went to your window. Guys, have you done 30? Yeah, that's where we are. At least look at the graph with me. They do? at this. You all have it correct? Yeah. I'm really only having to focus from, let's say, negative 1 to 1. Would you agree with that? Mm -hmm. And basically on the y from negative 1 to 1. Do you agree? Uh, on the y from negative 1 to 1? No. Maybe negative 2 to 1. So I'm going to change my window and I'm only going to look from negative 1 to 1. And so I can see what it looks like in that area. Okay. It says it's, oh gosh, it. Oh, that was very close. If it's not exact, I don't know. It's a little bit, isn't it? There's a little bit of space in there. Do you agree? Tiny, tiny space. Now, let me tell you something about this. If you choose, a, you, we're top minus bottom. Agree? If I choose the wrong top, all that happens is my answer is negative. So if you do it and you get a negative answer, that's what that means. You did it backwards. Okay? Now, on 30, what I believe is that we have to look at from negative 1 to 1 of 1 minus x squared minus cosine pi x over 2 dx. Yeah, mine looks like the other one is on top. Okay, you can't tell. That's why I'm saying if you get a negative answer, you chose the wrong one. So that's going to take care of it. Does that make sense? So for all these, we can just plug it in our calculator? You can, but you better know how to do it by then. Uh, Does that make sense? Yes. So I want to take a minute, I want you to plug this one in your calculator and see what you get. You all decide which one's on top, which one's on bottom. I think I was looking at the wrong color. Okay. reach from there. You can't either. What did you get? Wait, oh, I think I did it. I got threes. Threes or we can mix. Alrighty. Oh, what else did it? Not that bad. What'd you all get?
Okay. Now, like I said, if you'd have done this the other way, because like Emma said, oh, I looked at the wrong color, you would have got a negative. You knew you did it upside down, you actually got you, you're good to go. Is that the same with if you do it left and right? That is the same. So you can't, the thing is, you're looking for area, so you know it's going to be positive. Mm -hmm. So if you get an acne, I would double check my numbers, but then I would have to put value. Like that. All right? Uh, Where are we now? I have a question like on 12, whenever we have a radical and we have a positive and negative and then the other function, how you do that, do you just make it into three integrals? Okay. Yes, if you need to. Number hang on, hang on. Let me finish with this one. If you need, did you graph it? I'm doing that right now. Okay, I want to see it after you graph it. Go ahead, Emma. On number 32, when it says like x equals pi over, negative pi over 4 and pi over 4, is that the interval they want us to use? Yes. Okay, that answers Because all that means, when they say x equals pi over 4, that means they're drawing a horizontal line there. So that's where you're going to stop. Because those are going to keep crossing back and forth forever. So the only things where you can do them is whenever you know to go, because it lies in the axis. When you go what? In terms of y, percent of x. In terms of y, it gets harder. Uh, so, so if it's, it's, it's top plus bottom, it's in terms of x. So, so, so y equals to that. It's left and right as x equals. We were looking at... 12. Yes. That means my integral whole has x's in it, or my integral. Did you get 12? Well, yeah, in terms of y. What did you get, can I ask? Well, you, to graph on your calculator, you have to get y equals. But then when that's what, then you look at it and switch. So, but, so like whenever you have this set up, are there like three integrals or? No, which one are you looking at? I'm looking at this one. And I'm confused too on like what points you use. Okay. Let me put it up here because Harrison probably has the same question. Okay. Give me some points. Give me my sideways parabola. Uh, uh, it goes through, okay, it starts at negative 3, 0. And where does it go through the x-axis? Uh, 0, 1.73. Boys, boys, we've talked about this. This is actually, I think, radical 3. Okay, that's the first one. What's the second one? The second one uh, goes through, it just y equals the Which one are you y equals 2x. 12. Twelve. Is that a parabola? No, it just it, it y equals 2x. It's a line. Yes. It goes through 1, 2. Something like that. Right? Yes. So what we want to do is we want to do... Right minus left. Right? So what I need to know, I want to do this minus this. So I'm finding this. So I need the y's. I need the y where it crosses here and the y where it crosses here. Can you... Find that on your calculator? Do yes. you know how? Yes. What? You did. What did you get? You got what? Two? Yeah. So my integral is negative 1.5 to 2? So you need 2x for 2x. So because that, that's the right. Uh, do you agree with those okay. numbers? Yeah, I have that. 
And then you use the Y's. So it's 1.52, and then would it be Y squared minus 3 minus? No, it will be this one first, which is Y over 2 minus Y squared minus 3. DX? Yes. Does that make sense? Yes. Emma? On 34, how do we solve the first thing it gives for Y? How do we what? Like, how, how would we put that in our calculator? Because I know we would need to solve for Y, but... They gave it to you this way because it is a right minus left. You, it gives you on this on 34. It gives you we know that zero to what? Pi over two. Yeah. So do we assume it doesn't intersect? You have to. Yes. So you basically have. Sine y radical cosine y. Let me let me double check that because it could be you could solve for y because if you set it equal to zero, you could solve for y. That's what I'm looking. How do you know that it doesn't cross extra times? Is what you're saying, right? They are telling, well, they don't tell you that, but that's why they gave you such a small window, because they're trying to just make you do it with Y without trying to figure all that other out. So it's just going to be this, okay. B1. Now, do you know how to do this one by hand? U D U. U is cosine of Y. What is D U? Negative sine Y. D Y. So it's a negative zero to pi over two of oh it's not zero to pi over two, sorry. Negative and it is neg I'm gonna bring the three out here and don't I have U to the one half? D U? Right? Wait, why why did you get rid of the numbers on the interval? Because I have to what is the cosine of zero? One. Uh, what is the cosine of pi over two? Zero. zero? Uh, so guys, I can switch this now to this, can't I? No. I flipped them over. So this is actually u to the 3 halves with 2 thirds from 0 to 1? Mm -hmm. Yes. Wait, doesn't the 3 cancel? Well, oh yeah, I forgot about that 3 out here, didn't I? So I have 2 u to the 3 halves from 1 to 0? And plug it in. What number is that? 34? Well, do you have to plug it in on your calculator, isn't it? No, I believe it's just two. <laughs> so we're even. Right? Are you good with that? All right. Yes. Did you really do that on your calculator? Yes. <laughs> I just like to I don't know. I don't
x equals y squared. What's the other one? Uh, I, I was going to say, that when you square rooted it, did you remember to do the negative? X equals Y plus 2. This makes so much more sense. This is going to look like this. And a line. Is that what happened? You forgot the negative? Um, yeah, they don't, in the answers they give me, they don't put it on any of them because it's kind of like we're, we're, we're worried about the other stuff right now. We're worried about labels and on the next group. Also, on number 40, do they <laughs> just want us to do it, like, I guess I don't understand what they're asking you to do. They're asking you to do it in terms of X and then do it again in terms of Y and see if you get the same answer. And you should. Okay. 30 or uh, 40. You should get the same answer when you do both. Okay, didn't we skip one on the worksheet or not get to one on the worksheet we need to go to? Can we go to that now? This is Friday. Yeah. Yeah. Now are we going to get another one today? Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. Was 36.5 the one we didn't get to? Am I right? All right, 36.5 off the worksheet, right? We have x equals 4y squared. And we have x equals y squared plus 3. Now, since they gave it to us in terms x equals, I'm going to make the assumption that they want me to do right minus left. So what I need to know is where they cross. By the way, something you should automatically know is the first, that they are both parabolas, right? Since everything is positive on them, they should both open to the right. Okay, isn't everything positive? Mm -hmm. Now, this, it's got to go through zero, zero. So I know this looks like this. Okay? Then I pick a point, and the point I always pick is with a zero. So if y is 0, what is x? 0. So I'm going to say it's going to do this. That's a rough sketch, but it gives me a clue. Now, how do I find out where they cross? I set them equal to each other. So is 4y squared equal to y squared plus 3? So 3y squared equals 3. What is y? Plus or minus 1, isn't it? Isn't my integral in terms of y? I don't care what x is. All I have to do is find y, right? Mm -hmm. So my integral is negative 1 to 1. 
And isn't it going to be y squared plus 3 minus 4y squared dy? Are you with me? So what I have is negative 1 to 1 of negative 3y squared plus 3 dy. Right? So when I take the antiderivative, this becomes negative y cubed. plus 3y from negative 1 to 1. Right? Which is negative 1 plus 3 minus 1 minus 3 which is 2 minus negative 2 which is did that make sense to you? I think it's kind of crazy when you find the exact area of the square. You don't think, I mean, if you think about it in life, you understand why that could be important. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's always a bridge. Where, what I will tell you where we're headed to is volume with this. Okay, so if you look at like parts of a car, don't they need to know how much volume is in it? And it's not a, it's not a square, it's not a triangle that we can find. It's an odd shape, so we better know how to do that. Or a spaceship, or a boat, or whatever. That just makes so much more sense now. So, are we good to work for a little while? Oh, worksheet. I told Cass and I would put it. There, you have a worksheet that is area between curves. Do you see it? Not cross sections, area between curves. Cross sections is coming. Area between curves. Yeah, it's a thick boy. You're right. I'm going to, well, the book and the page, the, the, the page in the book is due Friday. I'm going to say right now that the worksheet will be due Tuesday. You might as well just make it Wednesday. No. No, I can't make it Wednesday. Why? That's the same. What? 